Another typical controller you may find in a residential home is the Rainbird ESP4MI. Although it may be different from the Hunter Pro C controller, all the basic concepts are going to carry over. When it gets hotter out, we're going to want to add days to the scheduled program that we have running already. To do that, we'll take the knob that is on auto and we'll move that all the way to Monday. And right now, you'll see that Monday is on. Since we're adding a day and Tuesday is off, we'll move it to Tuesday. And on the display, it'll say Tuesday and that is off. All we have to do is push the on button and now Tuesday will stay on. Wednesday is on and say if you want to add another day, like Thursday, you would push the on button. When you're done setting all the days that you want to have come on, you just take the knob and place it back at auto and it'll run the new days that you have programmed into your schedule. Now say we need to add more time to each individual zone. All you have to do is take the knob and place it to zone one. If you needed zone one, which comes up on the display, to run longer than 15 minutes, you just use the arrow to add more time. And then if you wanted to add more time to zone two, zone two would be designated right here after you move the knob. And then the time is set for 30. We'll just run that up to 35. Whether you have five zones or 10 zones, you can designate each individual zone and set a custom schedule for how long you want each zone to run. And when you're through setting all your zone run times, you'll take your knob and place it back to auto. If you're unsure whether your lawn needs more water, you can visit our website at quality-irrigation.com where you'll find the signs of a thirsty lawn.